So, I have a video here of Big U trying to clear the air about the shootout between him, Nip, and the cops. I think some of what he said was BS, to be honest. But you guys can write down in the description box below and tell me what you guys think about it. Um, but I, I could tell by the way he was speaking, he had to kind of, he had to talk around the question that was asked to him, um, about the cameras and the footage and this and that and the third. Um, I believe there was some stuff going on and he's not telling the truth about it. He's, he, he danced around the, the question. Um, so take a look at the video and watch, um, what he says. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the video on and you guys go ahead and reflect on what you think about the video. You used to manage Nipsey Hussle. Right. Nipsey had a real interesting perspective. He, he did an interview. I'm not sure where, where it was exactly, but he said he talked about an incident that he was somehow involved and it was like some some shootout had happened at like a, a gas station I, I guess and he came home and like his mother grandmother said oh were you involved in that he said oh no no I wasn't and but they had video footage of the whole thing and he said he saw over the next few weeks all the homies start getting arrested and everything else like that and he realized that at that point the way he had been doing things is no longer going to work no. because of the cameras and because of the, the, the level of surveillance. And, and, he, and he said he said something interesting. He said that the the, the older homies who, who never had these cameras and this level of, you know, yeah. evidence that could be used yeah. against you were, were guiding the younger, the, you know, the, the younger uh, generation in a direction that was unintentionally going, you know, in the wrong place because they just didn't know. So, so you're, you're taking advice from the older generation, but now you have all this new technology that's working against you. And you realize that at that point he needs to sort of switch up his mentality. Right. Do you agree with that? I, I, I don't know where he said, I don't know where he was going with it, but I can agree that different, different areas and different people have. So it's like, it's a bunch of dudes that's OGs. It's like, it's crazy. But... Because of where it's where it's structured, it's no real. It's not me. Because of where it is, it's no real structure. But yeah, it is. It, you, you would to even go through the stuff that we went through when we was younger before the cell phones and these cameras only blocks and get away with it. Right, you would get away with damn near anything back in the day. Yeah, and I mean, if you think about, you even take it back a hundred years, where you could shoot someone and move to the next town over, change your name, change your name, <laughs> shave your beard, yeah. and it was over. You would never get caught, and then fingerprints, and DNA, and then video cameras everywhere, and cell phones. But that hasn't, that don't stop people. I mean, you don't think it slows people down a little bit? You mad, you mad. Yeah. If you, if you, if you upset, and you, 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 you on your thing, you, you mad because you going. Yeah. Now, it may stop that dude who's not really serious about it, but it's not going to stop somebody who. If they going, they going. And they really ain't caring in that moment about no cameras and I've seen it happen. There was some sort of situation that happened, some sort of shootout with you, Nipsey, LAPD, something. No, nah, that was, um, that was what? Seven years ago, eight years ago? Yeah. It wasn't no shooting. It wasn't no shooting. It was um, where the police was shooting. Yeah. And, um, it was a family dispute, you know what I mean? And that's what happened. Families had disputes, you know what I mean? And that's my little brother, you know what I'm saying? I love him to death. We just did the whole little tour. But, I mean, it was like any and everybody else. Sometimes you have a dispute, you got to get understanding. We come from a, a, a place where that, that happens, you know what I mean? And like I said, if he got a problem, I got a problem. And if I got a problem... He definitely gonna have a problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is like that you might hear about me and my sons having problems, or me and my kids, yeah. me and my wife. This same thing. How many kids do you have? Five. You have five kids. And I remember you mentioned that you're waiting for one of your sons to go to college. 
No, he's in college. He's in college already. He's in college. Okay, he's it, was, in it was an older interview. He's yeah. in Reno, Nevada. I'm gonna fix this. I feel like you don't want your kids to follow in your footsteps. No, definitely. That my motivation, my motivation for purposely trying to get this game violence to the point to where it's none is my kids, my sons. I have sons who are at the age, who are at the that target age, and when I came home, I definitely wanted to be a part of the solution and getting LA to where it is right now today. You know what I mean? And um, my motivation was a selfish motivation because I had sons. And I don't never want to see my sons laying in no casket. Was there a level, you know, you could tell your kids whatever you want to tell them, but they reach a certain age and they're going to have their own, and, you know? And, and with me, most people know my kids, know my sons. They aggressive, they, they in the streets. But it was the sons that I was going for. Like, I was going 13 years. So my two boys was 13 years without a father. Yeah. And then my last two kids are 13 years with a father. So they're a lot different than the t other two. So while I was going for 13 years, in my last three years and nine months, I did in the shoot. So I was three years and nine months straight in the hole. And that was like no communication with my sons. So they grew up hearing the stories of Big U. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the the, the legend of Big U and, the, you know, getting shot, taking the guns, and shot multiple times. And they grew up with that. And I didn't want them, I didn't know the effect of it, but I didn't want them to come visit me while I was in the hole. Because it was only like, you had to drive three hours, you only get a 15 minute visit, and then you gotta drive three hours back. So I didn't want my wife to bring my sons to go through that. And then you only in the glass, so how they gonna take turns? So I didn't want to put them through that. So I came home in 2004, but I only had been on the main line 21 days before I was released. And that was my, that was the time they got to meet me. And so it was a transition, me coming home and not coming home, the person they had been hearing about. You know what I mean? They had heard about this, this street dude, and I guess all the newspaper articles and whatever had you, big you, this, and he did this, and he did that. And when I come home, I'm, 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 I'm not actually the person they had been hearing about. I'm, a lot different. I'm I'm the opposite. Where you could probably just see twerk so he could be this guy, but you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was a it was a difference to them.